apparently his last stand since he was ousted in a constitutional vote of no confidence in back in April. Imran Khan's position on elections is that he was ousted by a, uh, a political and military establishment that uh, colluded with a foreign power, the US allegedly, um, to have him ousted. Um, none of that has been proved. Imran Khan claims that uh, this government is illegitimate and the only way to reclaim legitimacy and the only way to make a fresh start is to go to the people with a fresh mandate. <laughs> that's a case where he was disqualified from his current um, seat in parliament, which does not mean that he can't contest Joe no left. From this particular long march comes at a very significant time. Yeah, the uh, army chief, a uh, new army chief will be um, appointed uh, in late November. That's a very significant appointment. Ran Khan has very clearly said um, in his speeches that he doesn't think the current political coalition government has a moral standing uh, to appoint the current army chief. Islamabad has been under a kind of siege uh, for a month since Imran Khan announced that he would be holding a long march at some point in time. Imran Khan can get people behind him. Um, he has a very loyal supporter base, um, and, and that supporter base uh, completely buys into his propaganda, into his um, uh, his victim narrative. And, and, and because they see this as his last stand, they would absolutely support him.